Welcome back to Apex Instruments. We here at Apex believe that the most important thing that is tacked us to needs is reliable equipment. In this video, we're going to show you how to use and program a Fuji temperature controller on your meter console. A Fuji temperature controller is a proportional integral derivative controller that calculates the difference between your desired temperature point, called set value, and your measured temperature point, called process value, and then applies a correction based on proportional integral and derivative systems. Now, let's have a look at how to use one. Upon powering up, the current value shown is the process value. To establish a set value, press the select button once. You should now see a red indicator light next to the SV telling you that you are now in set value selection mode. To increase or decrease the set value temperature, use the arrow keys. You can increase or decrease the value by one by pressing the arrow keys, or you can increase or decrease the value at a quicker rate by pressing and holding the arrow key. Once the desired set value is reached, press the select key once to return to the process value. An important part of using a PID controller is to properly set the P, the I, and the D values. This is called tuning. All of our Fuji temperature controllers at Apex are preset to our recommended tuning configuration during the manufacturing process. But if for any reason you need to set your tuning configuration back to our presets, we recommend the P to be set to 1, the I to be set to 150, and the D value to be set to 40. We also recommend that you configure the P-SU value, which is the upper limit of the measuring range, to 1,910. To set the tuning configuration, press and hold the select button for three seconds until the P option appears. With P on display, hit the select button once, then use the arrow keys to change the value to one, then hit select again to lock in the desired value. While still in the configuration menu, use the arrow keys to scroll through the menu until you find I. Push select and change the value to 150 using the arrow keys. Press select again to lock in the desired value. In the same manner, set D value to 40. Press select to lock it in. And P-SU value to 1910. Press select again to lock in the desired value. To go back, press select and hold for two seconds until you see the set value and the red indicator light, and then press select again to return to the process value. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to support these videos by clicking the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Apex Instruments, out.